Hello guys, welcome to Jacked Videos. Before I begin this video, I want to say thanks to all my subscribers for the support, positive comments and suggestions you have given me for all my other videos. I hope this video will also be helpful to some people who are experiencing a similar problem like I did. After watching the video if you find it helpful, please subscribe to my channel. A couple of days ago, I noticed this water leak in the basement where the water was running along the foundation of the house. Initially, I thought there was a crack in the foundation which was causing the water leak. Just a few feet from above where the leak is, I have this sump pump drain pipe going from inside the house to the outside. The pipe runs along the ceiling all the way to the sump pump pit. It pumps out water every 10 minutes or so. It is constantly pumping water out far away from the house. So I checked the joints to see if there was a leak from the joints, where the pump is leaving the house, but I could not find a leak. So, I decided to remove the plastic sheet, the insulation, and the vapor barrier, to find out where the leak is coming from. Sure enough, I could see the evidence of the leak coming right out of the drain pipe hole in the foundation. As you can see there is dark rusty stain on the wall, which tells me that it is the sump pump ground water running along the wall, not clear rain water. I tried to see if there was a crack in the drain pipe, but I could not see anything from inside the house. Whoever did the plumbing did not put any sealant from inside the house, I can see all the way to the other end of the hole. It is for sure sealed from outside of the house but, not the inside. I have no choice but to go outside and dig the dirt out from the area, where the pipe exits the house to find the problem. To find out the exact spot to dig outside, I measured the distance from the nearby window, to the drain pipe hole to find out the exact location of the pipe. Now, let's go outside and figure out the exact location and start digging. I don't know if you can see where I put a black mark on the wall after measuring outside where the pipe is buried under the ground. I dug the dirt out until I found the pipe. Sure enough the pipe broke right where it leaves the foundation, due to the weight and pressure of the dirt from above the pipe. This was causing the water to backflow along the outside of the pipe through the hole into the house. Let's go back inside the house and turn the sump pump off and remove this pipe. The bottom part of the pipe where the brake is still attached and hard to remove, so I will have to cut the pipe from the outside to pull it out. Now that I got it out, let's take a closer look at the broken pipe. As you can see the break on the top of the pipe and the bend at the bottom. This is for sure caused by pressure of the dirt from the top and the ground shifting in the winter due to extreme cold weather conditions. This quite often happens to pipes going outside from inside the house. 
especially, the newer built homes when the dirt settles over time it causes shifting and pressure on the pipes which may cause it to break. I made a trip to the nearby hardware store and picked up a new pipe, coupling, and sealant. I connected the outside pipe to the new pipe. The only thing I did after connecting the pipe before putting the dirt back into the hole, I put some stones under the pipe to give some support and prevent it to bend again in the future. I forgot to videotape that part but I don't know by adding the stones under the pipe would make any difference. I thought it might give some sort of support in the long run. I connected the pipes inside the house and turned the sump pump back on to see if there was a leak. I could not find any further leak. I think we solved the leaking problem. I didn't put my insulation back in right after I connected the pipes. I wanted to continue to monitor the area over the next few days to see if it is going to leak again. Guys, please make sure to wear safety gear while doing any type of work to protect yourself from getting injured. If you have any health conditions that would put you at risk while doing strenuous work, please call a professional and pay that extra bucks to get the job done. Stay safe and healthy. Thanks for watching Jacked Videos. If this video has helped you in any way or if you find its content useful, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Your support and comments would really encourage me to make more videos like this in the future.